Hey, Sneak Lash back again tonight. Yeah, back in Mac Pup 528 version 2. Yeah, version 2. And as promised, we're going to compile our own program because sometimes you just can't get the pet files on in the puppy package manager. And you might want to compile your own, like Double FM Peg, as somebody done the other night, or DVD, or some obscure program that you want to run in puppy. And it's quite easy, okay? So, what we'll do, we'll open up our Rocks File Manager. Okay, and there we are. And what you will need to download is the Lupu DEVX or DevX 528-4 SFS file, okay? And you need to load that. We're using the loader, which I'll show you in a second. If I just click here, here. If I go down to System, is it Setup? No, it's in Setup. Oh, I forgot about that. Go down to Setup. We get the SFS load on the fly loader, okay? That's one of the easiest ways of doing it. There are other ways, but this video is just really, really, really quick. It's a basic one. I'm going to do a couple more with bigger programs that you may have problems with, because remember, some won't come with dependencies, and you'll need to get the dependencies first. So yeah, that's out of the way. So I did notice, when you put your, <laughs> your arrow over here, or arrow, your mouse pointer, over a little MacPup thing there, you get MacPup the beauty of Linux in the middle. I just noticed that. Blimey. Anyway, I digress. Right, so you've got your Lupu at DevX 528 file, and you've loaded it, and you're all ready to rock and roll. Oh, by the way, if you want to um, compile for Enlightenment E17, you also need their SFS as well, or their file, okay? Now, what we're going to do, as you can see over here, I've got a Slifid pet, which I made earlier. I compiled my own version, okay? And there's the tar file down here. I just don't love the source file, and that's what we're gonna do, okay? Really, really easy this is, okay? So should we get started? Yes, jolly good, tally-ho. Anyway, we'll grab our terminal. And first, to make sure you're in, you always are in root in Puppy anyway, but if you type in CD space root, you can make sure you're in it. Right, next, this is the next bit you do. You type in tar space xfv space and then the file you want to unpack. It's going to unpack the file in the terminal, okay? So that's Slifed or Slifed. That's why L P H E E D hyphen three dot two dot zero dot T A R dot G Z. Okay? And we'll just click enter or poke on enter. And as you can see, it's unpacked it for us and we're all there. Now next, we want to go there via the terminal. So it's CD, space, okay. S Y L P H E D. And we go hyphen again, 3.2.0. And now we're in the Slifed folder or file. Now what I've done, I've got some commands here that you can use. So I'll go to my window. Now if the, the tile's got an auto gen in it, you can use the first one. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna paste these on the on the thing jigs on the video so you'll be able to use them. If it isn't, just use the configure prefix, okay? So what we're going to do is this. Copy and paste this one, which is auto gen shush, prefix user, sysconfig directory, etc. local stat. E directory equals variable. Remember, this is the basic what I'm doing for you here. I'm not going to get into it too much. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to go back over to my other window. I'm not going to paste that in my terminal. Okay. In theory, it's going to start doing some stuff for us. Now, this can take quite a while. So I might like cut the video. I don't know yet. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Have a little bit of drinkage. Oh, very nice too. Orangey today. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to open up HTOP as well to show you how much system resources it's using, which is quite a bit. Compiling does use quite a lot. Now, this is a really small program, okay? Really, really, really small. Yeah, it is. So imagine if you're going to do a real big one, say like DVD or some stuff like that that are really big tiles. It's going to take you a long while. So when you're doing that, remember that you're going to take some time to do it. But if you really, really, really want this program or whatever program you want to do, this is what you have to do. There's no big deal really at the end of the day, is it? When you think about it. Anyway, we're doing, we're doing. It's doing all this stuff for us. Blah de blah de blah de blah blah de blah 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 and blah and blah. Anyway, what else do I say? 
And while it's doing this for us, <clears throat> and I'm drinking to one <laughs> I'll come back in just a minute. Okay, see you soon. Oh, I didn't even have to go anywhere. It's already done. And as you can see, there we are. CPU's gone back to normal. I'm still only using 80 mega my RAM, so that's alright. I'm using none of my swap, so I can come out of hate stop. Right, next. Right, the configure is finished. Type make to build. So that's what you do. You just type make. Okay. And off we go. And this time, I'm going to go away for a second. Okay, see you in a minute. Yeah, I was away for about two minutes there, three minutes, and it's still compiling, it's still doing its bits and bobs. It should be finished real soon. Now, this can be done with any file, by the way. So any program you want to compile for Puppy, as long as you've got the Lupu, hang on, I'll put my mouse over here, as long as you've got the DivX, you should be okay to compile. Now, when you're doing bigger programs, you are going to have dependencies, and you must have them installed first. So you need that, and you may have to go and get like Qt stuff or GTK stuff. You may have to get lots and lots and lots of other stuff. But that's what you have to do if you want some programs. And that's why when you get some pups, they're quite large, because they have so many dependencies installed. Excuse me. With the base puppy, everything's all done nice and tight for you. Okay, it's all done for you. But if you've really got down and dirty like we're doing now, and compiling your own stuff, which is good for lots of people and gets you doing stuff as well, I would suggest you giving it a good try. Now, as I said earlier, this is what I'm doing now. It's just a real, real, real basic one, okay? Real, real basic. We're going to do a couple more after this one because I think what I'm going to do is, say, do a, uh, a video player or something like that and make a pet out of it just to show you how difficult it can be. Right, okay, that's all finished. Now, I'll go back to my little text just in case. What we do now is type in make, sorry, new to directory make install. So we go back, say new to di space make install. Right, you will get some stuff come up here. So basically, I'm just going to go through it really quickly. But when you're doing your own, please read everything. This is step one. So I'm going to click enter. Yeah, it's a 486, so I'm not really worried about it, so yes. Just type in there. Okay. Just create one package only, blah, 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 blah. If you don't want to read it, just click enter, and it will do the, the basics for you. So click again. Okay. Here we go. Following the line is about to be executed. Install, package install list, bloody, 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 blah. All new recreate directories be in this folder. Yes, 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 yes. Enter to continue. And off we go. And la, 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 la. La, la, la. I know it seems boring and time consuming, but this is the way you have to do it basically at the end of the day. See, it's putting all the stuff in, lovely, nice and quick now, going through it. Step five, it's doing it, lovely. See, it's quite automatic in PUP, isn't it? Once you've got the DivX file, it's lovely and easy. And it is in most distributions, really, if you really want to get stuff done. The only thing about it, <clears throat> on other distributions especially, if they start updating everything, Things can go wrong when you have to uninstall and redo it, okay? A bit like, no, not like Gen 2, that'd be the wrong way to say it. But this is how you do it anyway. Now, I'm not going to go away or anything, so we'll just have a little chat while we're here, okay? It's gone cold here again now. Boiling hot yesterday, 24 degrees, and now we're down to about 10. Yeah, I think we missed summer about four months ago. Anyway, no big linkage. Oh, here we go. Mm. So, Slifey is now finished installing. It's fully populated, you won't want to go and trim the fat or whatever, but basically it's ready to be converted to a pet package. To do this, this is all you do. CD, Director Pet, Slyfid, 3.2.0486. Right, I don't need to do that because I've already made one, but that's all you have to do. So I'm just going to click enter. We're all done. We can now close the terminal. OK. We'll come out of there, and as you can see, I've got my new Slyfid folders here. And stuff and stuff and stuff will go down a bit. We've got the files are here. The pet I made earlier, and I've still got the tar file. Okay, so we'll come out of that. We'll go to our menu. Okay, and if we go down to internet, slice it is here. We'll open him up. We'll cancel that. Do you want to cancel that? Yeah. But if we go to help, you will see we'll go to about. This is Slyfid version 3.2.0, the one we just made. And it works hunkily of the dory. That's how you do it. That is the real, real basic way of doing it. Real, real basic, okay? 
We're going to do another one maybe at the end of next week, and we'll do some more complicated ones with all the dependencies you have to download, so they will be longer videos, okay? But what I'll do, I'll probably cut out the middle bits, right? and so it goes nice and quick for you. But, well, not easy. Sneaky Linux out. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.